Okay, I'm making a lot of short videos recently. Hi guys! So last week we spoke about the passive voice and today we're going to talk about the active voice. First, what is active voice? Active voice is when the subject promotes the action. For example, he killed them rather than the passive they were killed. So remember in our last video, passive voice involved extra words such as were, had, been. Active voice gets rid of those. Examples of active verbs are verbs such as sleep, runs, shouts, jumps, caught, sneezes, coughs, ate, roared, fought. The list is endless. It's any action verb that you can think of. Ultimately, the fight between the passive voice and the active voice is also the argument between show versus tell. We'll go into that in another video, but in this one we'll just stick to the active voice. Some more examples of the active voice are Becky caught the ball rather than Becky was thrown the ball. You could also say John danced the night away instead of the passive John had been dancing. You can hear that the active voice involves you more. It pulls you in. It's more interesting and more immediate. So here are five pros of using the active voice. Pro one, it gets the reader involved. Because it is active, the reader is actively doing the action in their heads as they read it. This keeps them amused by your book and entertained. Two, your work jumps from the page. Like the active verb jump, if you use active verbs in your work, it is far more intricate and interesting and it bounces to the reader's imagination. Whereas the passive voice, you can kind of breeze over and pretend it's not happening. Pro three, instant. The active verb is instant. It is an action and it is happening right now. The reader has to be concerned about it the same way as the character does. Unlike the passive voice, which could be happening at any point it deems fit, the active voice is happening and the reader has to read it now. Pro four, compelling and powerful. Think of the active and passive voice almost like an email. If your manager emailed you and said, do this, it's immediate. You have to do it. It is propelling you forward to do something. If your manager said, could you maybe do this when you get the time? When are you going to do that? You could do whatever you fancy. It's the same as when you're reading. If you're using the active voice, the active will make you read further. It wants you to read it right now because otherwise anything could happen to this character. Whereas the passive, the character will still be there when you come back. The author wasn't that immediate on what might happen. You know, it's not maybe that important. And finally, pro five, it's easy to follow. The passive voice uses a lot of extra words, whereas the active cuts your sentences down and it just tells you what you need to know. No mammy pambian around, no filler words, just as it is. And now for the cons of the active voice. There aren't really any cons. It's the most popular way to read and write right now. Passive voice has its place. And as I said in the last video, your work can have about 5% passive voice in it and still be good, but you want to have it 95% active. And that's all I've got for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to see as soon as I upload, click that little bell down below. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or Tumblr. I post general bookish pictures, as well as my writing tips and unboxings on there. If you'd like to see my short stories, you can head to my website. The link is below this video. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.